I was working on this 320k. You might have seen the uh, hook timing video that I just did recently. I'll link that in up here somewhere. But um, while I was working on this machine, I noticed that there was a screw missing. A little grub screw here, and you wouldn't normally, you know, sort of notice it or possibly even have any trouble with it. But there should be a, a little grub screw in here that holds this whole clamp assembly together. What can happen if that's missing, which is, is quite common actually to see that missing, I think what can happen is sometimes maybe someone might uh, inadvertently undo this screw thinking that's for the needle uh, clamp screw. Uh, so I guess what could happen is maybe if it's come loose and just fallen out and got lost, uh, you know, it's, it's going to cause a, a problem here. So the main issue here is that if we just undo the needle clamp screw here slightly, we can remove the needle, install a new one, no problem, tighten it up, no problem at all. But if you loosen this just a little bit, the whole thing will just fall off. Like that. And there's a little piece of metal that I was trying to catch, but didn't. <laughs> that just ended up down here. This all falls to bits. This clamp here and this little needle retainer. I thought I'd show you how to put that back together. It's not as easy as you think. This is the side that clamps against the needle. You've got a long piece at the top here jutting up and a shorter piece at the bottom here jutting out. And that is its orientation like that with the longer piece up and the shorter piece down and this facing to the left. Now you might think well you could just put that there like that. I'll get a close look here. So the, the temptation is to install this, you know, like so. And then just, uh, oh, by the way, this clamp, the little thread guide goes to the bottom. You'd think, well, maybe you could just get it on like that. But it won't. You can't get the this down through the needle clamp hole. The, the hole's too small there. So what you have to do is you have to just back this screw here off. You want this little clamp piece here to go inside that collar there. Just remembering that the longer part that I've got my tweezers on there is in the upper position. And then we should be able to just carefully, hopefully, slide that up like so and hold that up and tighten the clamp screw there. You can tighten that just lightly to start with and then when you, so from there on in, once you've got that together, you just need to be very careful when installing a needle that when you undo the clamp here, you have your needle ready to go into the hole there and just loosen that far enough until the needle goes in and you don't need to loosen it any further otherwise you risk this falling off again and then just tighten that and that's all so uh, yeah I hope, hope you found that helpful just a quick one for today and thanks again to my patrons on Patreon and thank you very much for watching